Hello, hello everybody. Welcome into the room. It's so good to be here. So good to be here. As you come in, just give me a little wave. Tell me how you're doing. <laughs> awesome. Hello, I'm Jackie. We're going to get started in a moment, but it's so good to be here for Heal and Well Set Self Care Sunday. So this is the beginning of your new Sunday ritual, which I'm so excited. I'm going to be joining them. So come on in. We'll get started in a moment. If you have a notebook, if you have an essential oil, by all means, bring it, bring it here. But hello, hello, let's just get started for my early birds. Um, I am Jackie Veramontes. I'm here with WellSet, I'm a WellSet instructor, and this is our first kickoff series. It's such an honor to do Heal and WellSet Self-Care Sunday. So I'll be leading you through a wonderful somatic EFT tapping experience. It'll last about 30 minutes. Well, if you're new to tapping, it's okay. I'll start with a brief intro. And um, if you are a tapping connoisseur like moi, we will be diving in in a way that I think might be new for you, especially if you're a visual learner, especially if you are like a somatic embodied person who feels feelings in your body. So wonderful, I love it, seeing the love, seeing the waves. Tell me where you're coming from. Ireland is my favorite place. <laughs> I'm in Northern California, about an hour north of San Francisco. But hello from California. Okay, I love that you're wanting to dive into the peace jacuzzi with me. I love it. So let's do this. I'm just gonna get some help from my friends over at WellSet. They'll be checking out the feed. But let's get going. Okay, here we go. Love it, love it, love it. Um, maybe they can pin that title. All right, hello from Massachusetts. Hello from Costa Rica, my other favorite place in the world. All right, here we go. Everyone who's just coming in, this is the kickoff for Heal and Well Set Self Care Sundays. I'm Jackie Vera Montez. I am an EFT tapping instructor for Well Set, and I also teach and train people in EFT. But um, every other Sunday, you get to come here and create a new ritual, a self care ritual. Today, we're going to be doing a beautiful somatic soak in one of my favorite self care tools, which is emotional freedom technique also known as EFT. So if you know EFT, if you've done EFT, give me a little hearts, let me see. <laughs> if you've done EFT tapping before, okay, I'm seeing some of them. Um, hey Miami, hey Norway. But every other Sunday at 11 a.m. Pacific time, you can come here for a new modality. Um, and it'll be one of the well-set instructors. So I'm the EFT tapping instructor, that's what we're doing today. In the next coming weeks, you'll see that we have instructors who teach yoga, somatic stretching, breath work. I've been getting into the gua sha. Who does the gua sha? Face map, um, face mapping. So you'll see that coming in every other Sunday. And WellSet is a digital holistic studio of 20 evidence-based practices. I'm all into the heart, but also the science, as you guys are. But there's 20 plus evidence-based practices that you can come live like this on the WellSet portal, or um, you can watch it on demand, kind of like Peloton. So that's what we're about, and this is a taste of what the classes are like. So it's an honor to be here um, because HEAL was one of the ways that most of my clients knew about EFT. So they're making waves. So you ready to dive in with me? Welcome, blessings, blessings, amazing. Okay, cool. Let's do this. If you have, you really don't need anything to prepare for this. So just so you know, I like to set the stage of what you're going to be getting into. I'm not going to be talking or explaining a lot. We're going to get right into the somatic practice in a minute. I'm going to start with a brief intro to EFT in case you're new to it, but I do like to get you into the work. After we get that intro, we'll, we'll go through about five, six rounds of tapping. And what I'm hoping is that if you're coming in today feeling anxious, feeling overwhelmed, feeling, I don't know if this is a term y'all know, but Sunday scaries. <laughs> if you have the Sunday anxiety as you go into your work week or a long to-do list, I'm hoping that by the end of this class, you'll feel not only like you um, have a tool to face the overwhelm and stress that we can't always control, 
but that you actually feel more in your body, that you feel like you can actually take a deep, beautiful exhale, that you feel that that buzzing that I'm feeling in my heart or my throat has dissipated. And if you haven't experienced EFT, I am so excited for you to experience it. So let, let's do this. Let me know how you're feeling so I can weave that in. That will help me. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a generator. I like to feed off people. So drop in the chat how you're feeling. Maybe the word anxious resonates with you, but maybe it's overwhelm. Maybe it's um, self-doubt. So just drop it in the chat if you're here with me live. Okay. <sighs> let's take a collective breath together. And just let's all, wherever we are in the world, I'm seeing everywhere in the world here, just place a hand on that tense, sad, overwhelmed part of your body. And let's take a deep breath in, deep breath into that low energy, that anxious energy, and then exhale it out, really good. And again, um, if you're just coming in, I'm an EFT trainer. I've been doing it for years, for like 10 plus years, um, and training other people to use it. And every time I use it with someone, it's a different experience. So let's all make a collective agreement as if we were sitting in a circle in Costa Rica, in Norway, wherever you are, sitting in a circle. Let's make the collective agreement that we're going to hold space for our feelings today without judging them. We're gonna hold space for our feelings today without shaming ourselves for them. We're not trying to fix ourselves. Can we do that? Let me feel your nods, let me feel your hearts. Yes, beautiful, okay. And anything that anyone shares in the chat today, we're gonna to hold space for them without judgment. Beautiful, okay. So hand on the heart, I invite you to close your eyes if you can, if it's safe, if it's comfortable. And with your hand on that part of your body that has that tense, anxious, overwhelmed energy, holding space without judge judgment, noticing on a scale of zero to 10, how strong is it? Is it a 10? Is this the most anxious you've ever felt tuned into an Instagram live? Or are you feeling completely at peace like your body is still water is zero? Just tell me where you're at. You tell yourself where you're at. And then let's start on the side of the hand, okay? So this is the first tapping point we'll do. You see that I'm switching back and forth. You don't have to do that. You can stick with one side. But knowing that our body's symmetrical, we can tap either side. So taking a deep breath in. And some of you are at a six today of anxiety. Some of you are at a three. Those numbers might go up or down as we tap. I'm normally more at that eight level, Marge. <laughs> and as we tap, just notice if the number goes up or down. And I'll explain that. Okay, I'm gonna show you the points and tell you what we're doing. Okay, we got tens, we got fives. So the next point's directly on top of the head. Just breathing into that eight, into that five of anxiety. Next point's the inner eye point. So you can do both sides or just one side. I might cue you differently as we get into this, but it's right where that eyebrow comes in and just using one or two fingers, breathing in and out. And I'm feeling that energy in my heart right now, my throat, so I'm trying to direct my breath there. That can help if you're a yogi or you're into mindfulness. So next is outer, outer, outer eye. So I'm so close that I'm touching those eyelashes. I'm not out here, I'm right in close. There we go, I feel, I feel it slowing down, right? So under the eye, so not down here, but right on the bone. So if you um, even take your fingers along the bone you might feel a divot. So I have a two-year-old son, and when I touch his face on these points, 
a baby, you can feel the, the pinprick where the points come out. Um, so these are the same as the acupuncture points that you might use if you're into acupuncture. Um, but we're just going to be tapping on the face and torso. So next point is under the nose. And for those of you who have done tapping before and this is not new for you, just go under the chin, right where the chin starts to come out. And it's not new for you. Get into it by really directing your breath into that part of your body that's holding the tension. The next point, my favorite point, because you can do it without anyone noticing, is on the collarbone. So I'm on the actual bone. Someone's thinking of me. I'm on the actual bone, about two inches out from the midline. Really good. And then under the arm. So where a bra line might fall, about five inches down from the armpit, again on either side. Yeah, some of you love tapping, some of you it's totally new. So what we're doing is these are stress reducing points. They associate with the major meridians of the body. So let's go back here. So we're detoxing the organs where we hold anxiety in our body, in our organs. Some of you know this. But these also directly connect to your amygdala, that part of your and the parts of your brain creating cortisol and adrenaline. So I want you to take a deep breath in and know that you are sending a little off switch signal to your nervous system saying, hey, I don't need that anxiety, not helping me. So breathe in. Okay. What I want you to do is just check in and just notice from me blabbing away as we tap and introduce this stress reduction technique that combines pressure point therapy with cognitive behavioral therapy, how your body is doing if that 10 went down to an eight, if that eight went down to a five. So tap the side of the hand. And I want you to say with me, if you can, if you're more visual, just hear or see my words in your mind's eye. But I want you to say with me, even though I feel anxious, right here and now, in this present moment, I'm okay. And maybe just one part of you believes that. So say with me again, if you can. Part of me feels really anxious and overwhelmed. But part of me knows that right here and now, in this present moment, I'm okay. Really good. This is where cognitive behavioral comes in, tap the sides of the hands together, is acknowledging that in one moment, we can be really anxious really upset and in in that same moment there's a part of us that knows there's a higher perspective that we have everything it takes right so in kind of behavioral we say yes i'm feeling anxious but yes i choose to have compassion for myself yes i choose to remember that right here now i'm okay so now that you know why we're doing it really say it with me and don't just say my words feel my words feel it when you say it even though part of me is really anxious and overwhelmed. Part of me knows that right here and now, with all these other people tapping like weirdos, <laughs> I'm okay. All right, there we go, top of the head. Let's hold space for it. Say with me or feel my words, I am anxious. Just say, saying it with me, take the steam out of it. I'm anxious, I admit it outer eye and I feel it in my body like a heavy weight and again one breath for point so we usually tap eight to ten times on each point I like to just do a full inhale exhale I'm feeling all this anxiety just saying it with me or just feeling my words I'm feeling all this anxiety I'm feeling other people's anxiety. Really good. Under the arm. All this anxiety in my body. Really good. Just 
just right to the top of the head. So as we do through the face points, the reason that I'm not saying the positive like I did on the side of the hand is because we just want to hold space for this triggering feeling. So outer eye, just voice, name the feeling. I'm anxious, I'm overwhelmed, I'm sad. What you can say, what you can own doesn't own you, okay? What you own doesn't own you, so just say it with me. I own it. I feel really heavy right now. A part of me feels heavy right now. A part of me feels anxious right now. The more you just own it and shine a light on it, the less it owns you. Under the arm, that nice, this nice pressure point that has to do with feelings of insecurity, nerves. Really good, hand on the heart. I'm gonna massage this sore spot. This nice neurolymphatic point. Just checking in, especially my newbies, checking in. Is your breath more expansive? Does your heart feel more still? I noticed myself tapping slower on some of the points. I noticed that my breath was getting longer. What about you? Those are all signs that cortisol, adrenaline is lowering, which gives our body permission to create more peace hormones. It's all hormones, right? We're just putting words to it. Really good. So I'm tapping out in California and I feel you guys tapping in Norway and Costa Rica and New York. So let's do one, let's do one more. So this is the rhythm. If you were to do a daily tapping protocol or if you were to join one of my classes on WellSet, you notice that we always start on the side of the hand and we always say, even though I'm feeling anxious, part of me knows that right here and now I'm okay. We always start with acknowledging that part of self, that higher part of self. And then when we move through the face points, we acknowledge the negative. I don't like to call it negative. I don't wanna judge it. I'm just, it's a feeling I don't want. It's a feeling that's not empowering me. And we don't do it to reinforce it. We're not reinforcing it. We're taking the power out of it. So let's do one more. Okay, I'm gonna switch it up, see if this resonates. Whew, even though I feel anxious about something, I have compassion for myself and how I'm feeling. Let's switch sides of the hands. Even though I'm feeling anxious and overwhelmed, I have so much compassion for myself and how I'm feeling. One more, we do it three times because it can be hard to teach our nervous system, hey, anxiety doesn't have to run your life. I feel anxious. I feel unqualified. I feel like an imposter. But I also have compassion for myself and how I'm feeling. Top of the head, ugh. I don't always believe in myself. I don't always feel like I have what it takes. I feel anxious sometimes. I feel anxious right now. And I want you to think about the one situation that's making you more anxious than you'd like to be. I feel anxious about this. Call it to mind, call up the thing on your to-do list, the conversation, the relationship dynamic. I'm feeling anxious. And feel free to let me know what is spiking your anxiety under the arm. I'm feeling anxious about this. For my visual people, see it in your mind. See the thing that's triggering the anxiety. Go right to the side of the hand. So I train people in clinical EFT. In clinical EFT, we are really trained. EFT works when you get specific. So instead of saying, I'm anxious about work, I want you to think about, or I'm anxious about my health. I'm anxious about my future. What's that one moment 
in the future that is stressing you out and stealing your peace. Instead of hiding from it, take your power back and look at it, shine a light on it. Does that make sense? See that future moment in your mind's eye that is freaking you out, making you anxious. So if you are anxious about your mother-in-law, <laughs> I want you to see your mother-in-law's face, see something she is saying that makes her seem so narcissistic. See it in your mind's eye. And now let's say it together. Even though this moment, this scenario makes me anxious. <sighs> I have compassion for myself. Even though I'm anxious about that situation. I have so much compassion for myself and why I'm feeling this way. So if you're anxious about what other people think, see that one person whose opinion and see the opinion they might have. Even though this makes me anxious, I have compassion for myself. Maybe I can be gentle with myself. Yeah. See that one moment from your marriage that really symbolizes it, okay? Top of the head. Oh, the situation, it would make anyone anxious. And it makes me anxious. It's taking a silent breath to breathe into that heavier energy in your body. Under the nose. Oh, it would make anyone upset. under the lip. It would make anyone upset. So again, we're not reinforcing these heavy, yucky feelings. We're shining a light on them because we know we have, we have to feel it to heal it. I think everyone on this call knows that. <sighs> Collarbone. Can you validate your feelings right now with me instead of judging them? Can we validate them? Say this with me. Try this out. Of course I feel this way under the arm. Of course I feel overwhelmed about this. I'm gonna show you a nice point. Um, it's the pericardium. A lot of you are feeling like heaviness, feelings in your heart. So this is, the pericardium is the membrane around our heart. So three fingers down, three nail polish chipping fingers down. I want you to hold that point. <clears throat> it's on either side. So it's that third finger, you can put pressure. Helps with your stomach too, nausea. Take a breath in. Really good. Other side, breathing in. When you're around that mother-in-law, when you're facing that boss, when you're dealing with the marriage, just hold these points, no one will know. Okay, we're gonna do one more round dealing with the yucky feelings. You're like, I thought I was coming on for self-care. She's making me focus on the yucky. But here's the thing, I was just talking about this with someone. Um, and why don't you rub this neurolymphatic point as I talk and keep this energy moving. Is when you have a wound, I don't know about you, I've never been a band-aid person. But when I have a wound um, and it's wanting to heal, the thing that makes it heal is fresh air. We need to get the air on it. We need to get the oxygen on it. When we have something we're anxious about, when we have that financial stuff, when we have that relationship and we shove it down, I think of it as like shoving down that shame, that grime, it gets into the wound, it makes it stickier, it makes it heavier, it makes it more easily triggered, like some, my, something brushes against it and it hurts versus just bringing it to the light, bringing it to the fresh air where it can heal. Same is true for our feelings, okay? So on this last round, I want you, as you voice how you're feeling, I want you to imagine you're bringing fresh air, you're bringing um, that soothing liquid to your wound right now. So take a deep breath in and notice where you're feeling the anxiety in your body. 10 being the most anxious you've ever felt on a live call. Zero is completely still waters on top of the side of the hand. And say with me, part of me, still feels overwhelmed and anxious about this situation. 
but part of me knows I can just take a breath. And right here now with all these people feeling the same way, I'm okay. Good. Part of me still feels anxious and might always feel kind of overwhelmed by this. Part of me knows I can take one step at a time. Let's say that again. Part of me might always feel anxious when I think about this situation. But part of me knows I have everything I need if I just take one step at a time. And if you don't believe that, believe it for someone else on this call, okay? Top of the head, part of me still feels anxious. Inner eye. I want you to actually do some bilateral tapping, left, right, left, right. This can link up the left and right hemispheres of the brain. Part of me still feels anxious. Ugh. I might always feel anxious when I think of this situation. Who wouldn't? <laughs> It's a valid feeling about this situation. Slowing down the breath. But maybe I can go easy on myself. Maybe I can go gen be gentle with myself. And if it's hard for you to go easy on yourself, you have a super loud inner critic like me, kind of channel that for someone on the call, one of the other perfectionists on the call. Maybe I can be gentle with myself the way they should be gentle with themselves. Maybe I can go easy on myself. Right to the top of the head. Maybe I can take one step at a time. Inner eye, let's keep this bilateral, which means left, right, left, right. Maybe I don't have to be so hard on myself in this situation. I'm gonna say that again, don't just say my words, feel my words, see them. Maybe I don't have to be so hard on myself in this situation. Maybe I could be 10% more gentle. You don't have to be all the way gentle, just a little bit more. Maybe I can take one step at a time in this situation. Big breath in. Maybe I can take a breath when I feel anxious. Maybe I can remember to breathe and be present. Under the arm. Maybe I can connect to my higher self. <laughs> Let's do those peace points on the wrist. What would it look like for you to go easy on yourself in this situation? I don't think that the antidote of anxiety is peace, honestly. I specialize in anxiety. I used to take medication for anxiety. What I've learned from my experience with PTSD and anxiety is the antidote is not peace. The antidote isn't even freedom. The antidote is gentleness. When you can be gentle with yourself, when you can give yourself grace, um, when you can give yourself grace, that's when anxiety begins to stop being a problem. Stop having ownership over you. So place your hand on your heart and even rub this sore spot. I love this point. It has to do with that inner conflict, that part of you that's like, no, 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 Jackie. No, no, no. I'm going to always be anxious. It's going to run my life. There's another part of you, I know. That's why you're logged into this right now. There's another part of you that's like, heck no. I'm choosing to be my best self. I'm choosing to show up for myself. I'm choosing to change. I'm choosing to trust. I'm choosing to hope. So say this right here. Part of me might always be anxious, but part of me chooses to show up as my best self in this moment. See it. Part of me feels anxious and scared, but part of me chooses to go easy on myself. 
chooses to take one step at a time and choose to show up as my best self in each moment. Taking a nice breath. Let's close. We're at time already. It goes so fast. Um, close your eyes if you can. You can rub this point. What would it look like? <clears throat> how would your best self? How would, I hate the word best, actually. How would your most courageous self show up to this situation you're facing? How would your most courageous self show up to your in-laws? Courageous self show up to your to-do list? Courageous self show up to... Um, this relationship? How would your most courageous self show up? I want you to see that now, get a good sense of it. Let's tap it in, left, right, left, right. <sighs> Some of you might have to go back and watch this recording again. And then when you're here imagining the most courageous self, it'll feel more real, right? We're gonna close. Beautiful work. Some of you, Check in. Let me know. How high is the anxiety? Maybe it's still high. Um, if so, I have some tools for you. Let me share. Um, if it's low, good. It, it means your body is getting on board with what that higher mind knows. So thank you so much for joining me in this stress reduction practice. This is just the tip of the iceberg. We could keep going for another 30 minutes. Um, but just notice how your body feels. Notice if you feel more planted in your seat. Notice if you feel anxious. Like, how are you feeling? I'm so glad you're feeling much better. More, more amazing. Um, my goal is that you give yourself more grace, even if you feel anxious. And if you want more resources, the reason we're doing this series is because you can, you can find me on my account, Jackie Veramontes. Um, I'll be tagged and pinned on the heel posts. Um, I have tons of resources for you. And well set. You can go to WellSet's account. We have classes every single day. If you can't make it to our live classes, which happen every day, there's a huge on-demand library that you can check out for topics like stress, anxiety, motivation. Some of you are talking about grief. Some of you are talking about imposter syndrome. We, I have a class on imposter syndrome. You could go watch in the on-demand library right now. Um, so go check that out. I have my notes of what I want to make sure you know. Oh, and since you're here live, you get a special rate. So if you want more somatic practices, you get a 50% off code. So write, write this down. HEAL50, H-E-A-L 50. Um, you can sign up and you get an entire month free. You'd be able to go through a lot. You'd make a dent in the thousands of on-demand videos. So go make a dent in those videos. Make a dent in your self-care practice. Make a commitment right now to go easy on yourself as you become more aligned to your most courageous self, okay? So if you want more of this, more free access, more free samples before you dive in, um, we are here. A well-set instructor like me is here every other Sunday. So the next one is May 14th at the same time. So mark your calendar right now. I'll be there up in the chat watching the next instructor. But again, I'm Jackie Veramontes. Come find me, share your experience with me in my DMs. Um, go find Well Set. Give a big thank you for Heal for hosting this. Thank you, Heal. And um, I'll see you in two Sundays from now. Bye, y'all. So good. Yes, Heal 50. Use that Heal 50 Co. May 14th. You're already marking your calendar. Love it. All right. Bye, guys.